Uh, this is Dave, uh, Cheap Books, playing World of Tanks. Um, I'm going to do a sample game. I'm just going to start it right now. It's a Type 1 Chihei. <laughs> it's a Japanese Tier 4 tank. I'm not playing with the premium. I'm, I don't have any camo on this tank, nothing special. Uh, I just decided I'd, I'd give it a go. Um, luckily, we got into a battle. Uh, Arctic region. And I'm going to show um, the way I play. So the first thing I'm doing, check out what side I'm on. I tend to like to play on the right, although this tank might not be very good for that. And by the right, I, I immediately aim my tank to where I want it to go. Uh, but I also play in the north occasionally. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be the first one to get there, or among the first group to get there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the enemy, and I'm going to kind of hold them off. And hopefully the rest of my team will back me up, and they often don't, unfortunately. Um, so one of the techniques I use is that there's a mountain, and the mountain has a slope on it, and you can drive on the slope of the mountain, and most people don't. Uh, but the reason why you want to do that is because it allows you to get around without exposing your tracks. Only your turret will be exposed. So it'll be your best armor. Only your best armor will be exposed to the enemy and uh, your gun. Uh, the rest of your weaker parts, such as your tracks, will be hidden. Um, this guy is going to be a problem for me. So I think I'm going to go in after him. Because I don't have a great tank, but I should be able to handle him. I'm going to go right for him. I don't hold back. I don't take my time. I'm not a chicken. I'm going to surprise him a little. Hopefully he won't see me coming. Looks like he's running away. Yeah, he's got problems. Target acquired. Critical hit. Penetration. Ready to fire. Enemy is hit. Enemy I'm going to drive hit. backwards, Enemy holding down the, um, the button to fire. So I was driving backwards. I had my uh, button holding down the fire because I had it locked on so I didn't have to aim and I'm gonna go after this guy acquired. do the same thing We're done for. Everyone get out. that's a tough tank there's no way I would be able to defeat that tank but I did, I did get one kill in um, as you can see from the map Let's see if I can make that map bigger and I don't worry about the fact that I died. That doesn't bother me. Uh, take a look at this map. The red is obviously the enemy team. My team, they chickened out, and, and they hid and ran. The, they should not have done that. They should have been further ahead where the red team is right now. They could have taken that ground. They didn't back us up. Um, those players are probably not very good players. Um, this is a map where often you see your own team retreat on you um, it's, it's it's not a sign of, of good playing you know you should be up supporting your team you win when you outnumber the enemy the reason why they re they never even tried to approach and it's too bad because obviously we can win these games if we work together as a team um, but it also allows our team to have what it looks like an advantage in the north because it, I don't remember how to switch between tanks, unfortunately. In fact, if you look at the comments, you can see Johnny to guns. Also, he called our team a bunch of cowards. <laughs> and he also identified our team as people that ran off. Um, but it gave us an advantage in the north because uh, some of the players in the north were able to go after the enemy base. Uh, the enemy the enemy uh, had traveled far from their base, leaving their base exposed. But the enemy is also going after our artillery units. And it was one of our artillery units who was commenting about how 
Um, my teammates should have been backing me up, but they ran off. Uh, so that's a quick game.